Hello everyone, my name is Bangki Sanjaya. You can call me Bangki. I am a painter from Semarang City, Indonesia. This is my painting. Uh, the title is Camouflage. Size my painting maybe 80 cm. The following is the process of creating my painting inspired by previous work then I make an initial design using digital technology so that my work will be effective and efficient later after then I prefer it tools and materials in the form of brushes, canvas, and acrylic paints. Then I transferred the design directly onto the canvas. The following is the result of the scratch and this is the wall of front, side and back view. The concept is every human being tends to have their own tribe, language and customs that make them unique. Therefore, if someone who is overseas or who comes out of their are of origin must be able to mingle, respect, appreciate, and adapt to their environment. Although this phenomena require a person ability to interact and appreciate between individuals and individuals individuals and group and group between group look at the Suren phenomenon nowadays there needs to be an effort to care more and release what we have again do not necessarily look at the visible part of the visible like the theory of dramaturgy from Erving Goofman, which alludes to what is done in life activities, uh, such and a theater stage, play plays a curtain role to adapt adapt itself to its surroundings. Furthermore, uh, someone waiting a curtain scope will present his, himself and adapt to survive. However, it needs to be a reminder of everything that is done so as not to miss who is the self that is inside or behind him or someone else real self in order not only to to see the visible part but to observe and understand something in oneself or other because something uh, on the back or inside that feels hidden which is often overlooked but that is what has depth and true meaning for thank you for your attention goodbye Dough of Nora, 60 cm by 80 cm.
a c r y l i c Painting on Canvas by r u n d e t h a i r o s w a n Lecturer, Bachelor of Fine Arts Program in Visual, the Department of Fine Arts and Design, Faculty of Architecture, r a c h a m a n k a l a University of Technology, s i v i c h a i t e o of Nora. The creative t e o of Nora is intended to be creative in presenting Nora's identity with international painting techniques and to raise awareness of the existence of Nora art and culture in a different and universal form. With acrylic pen technique on canvas, size 60 by 80 centimeters, one of the Nora's identity series in an abstract art created under the concept of Nora. Uniqueness in art and culture that is valuable no matter what status or form it is, it will always be evident. Therefore, contemporary art like t o of Nora is another medium that facilitates. The acceptance of new groups of people, who will continue to expand in the future. Originally, Nola was a culture of ritual origin. Later, it developed into performing arts for entertainment, but never abandoned the roots of belief, ideas, and teaching from the ancestors. As a result, Nola has several b e e n lost from his populous land, the southern part of Thailand. By acknowledgement of this acceptance, it was passed on to mankind in December 2021. It has been listed as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity, according to the announcement of the educational organization Science and Culture of the United Nations, or UNESCO. So, contemporary art like the Tale of Nora. Is another medium that facilitates the acceptance of new groups of people who will expand in the future. Objectives: to present Nora's identity with international painting techniques, to raise awareness of the existence of Nora art and culture in a different and universal form. The work "Tale of Nora" that draws Nora's identity. In terms of costume elements and specific poses presented through dots, lines, and colors, without depicting images and stories typical of abstract art, which people can perceive aesthetically in a universal form, but retains the t a s t e of happiness and entertainment that impart certain belief, rules, and patterns, as in folk art. The creator therefore came up with the idea. Of presenting Nora through an abstract form that retains its identity, but is universal with connections and unique colors, follow abstract classic art. Transmission of Nora for the preservation of folk culture. y o k c h u b u a Become more colorful and a dance called. t a k u t w e l Positions by Nora y o k c h u b u a a national artist performing as Nora for the year 1987, which is widespread both in educational institutions and in the Nora Kerala line. All 12 poses, hand gestures are the most important cons- consisting of t a t e p a n o m ท่าพรมเทวะท่าเขาควายท่าชูชายชูพวงมาลัยท่าพวงมาลัยท่าร้อยมาลัยท่าโคมเวียนท่าผาลาเพียงไหลท่ายุงฟ้อนหางท่าชูสูงเสมอหน้าท่ากินนอนเรียบถ้ำ
costume elements, the clearest example is the third. Flower Colorful bead Nora's identity that is communicated through international painting techniques is the dance move and characteristics of costumes that are unique to Nora Yuk Chubua. Nora's identity that is com communicated through international painting techniques is the dance move and characteristics of costume that are unique to Nora Yuk Chubua. Conveyed through abstract art in stimulate awareness of the acceptance of the art, Nora culture in a distant and universal way, and with the same concept, can be conveyed through many more processes in order to further reflect the identity of Chinese, Southernity, or the typicality of foreign arts. Continue this parallel art and culture perfectly, and can continue to expand through other forms of media in the digital world. Thank you so much for your interest and attention. Hello everyone, dear professor and teachers, I am Li Jingdai. I am a part-time teacher in a university, majoring in art performance and communication. Today, I am honored to share with you some of my thoughts and works on further injury design. The theme of the work is Milan Show in Tao Hua Wu. Jewelry design as an art design requires the designer to have a certain aesthetic quality and aesthetic vision, as well as corresponding technique skills. Let me briefly introduce Dian Tui, which is a traditional Chinese handicraft. Because of the dazzling brilliance and special metallic luster, it has been widely used in jewelry, collections, and other fields. In jewelry design, Dian Tui can bring huge, creative space. Its rich colors and Exactly, delicate texture enable designers to create more unique and exquisite works of value. The theme is based on the plain patterns of Tao Hua Wu woodblock prints. Earrings are the main shape and the color matching is consistent with the clothing. Five single colors of red, white, blue, green, and black. This is my process. Jewelry design can be traced back to ancient times, with evidence of jewelry found in archaeological sites around the world. It emerged as humans discovered and value precious materials, such as gemstones, metals, and natural element, elements like shells and further. Throughout history, jewelry has served various purposes. Including personal adornment, cultural expression, religious rituals, social status representation, and even as a form of chorus. Jewelry design in ancient China evolved 
alongside dynasty changes and cultural infusions. Chinese jewelry design re reflects traditional symbolism with motifs representing prosperity, longevity, and auspicious blessings. Modern Chinese jewelry design combines traditional elements with contemporary aesthetics, incorporating cultural symbols, techniques, and materials. It's model wearing catwalk. After selecting a suitable pattern, start drafting and shaping according to the different characteristics of the pattern. The pattern is first deconstructed, divided, then collaged and reconstructed. So that the pattern is as spacious as possible and suitable for the outline of jewelry. And then combined with the Dian Cui craft, removed the structure that is not suitable for Dian Cui technology. Use a variety of plain reconstruction graphics to form a simple three-dimensional structure and make some adjustments in var variability. In summary, jewelry designs or range and significance can be observed globally. With each continent and regional contributing is unique styles, materials and cultural symbols system. In China, it holds deep historical and cultural significance. With traditional designs blending harmoniously with modern approaches in the contemporary jewelry industry. Hello everyone, I'm Weili, a doctoral pursuing my PhD in Arts Performance Communication. I'm honored to have Dear Sakon FondMD as my advisor. It's a pleasure to introduce my research paper to you all today. My thesis title is The Creative Characteristics and Influence of New Media Art in China, a case study of Guangzhou International Light Festival. Research background and significance. New media art, a blend of art and technology, making it very lively in the digital world. With artists' passion and China's government support, this art is growing fast and getting worldwide notice. Looking into it is important as it deepens our knowledge aids its progress, and enriches the art field of China. This study aims to look at how new media art is shown in China today, how it differs from classic art in unique terms and expression, and how people's views of new media art affect how well it's promoted. The goals of this research are following objectives. 1. To investigate the characteristics of new media art. 2. Explore the status of new media art exhibitions in China. Sai examine the opinions and evaluations of both professionals and the general public on new media art. 4. And research the influence of new media art's unique characteristics on its exhibition impact. Research methodology. First, 
The research uses a case study approach, analyzing documents, conducting surveys, and interviewing experts in the field of new media art. Second, data collection methods are designed to gather real opinions and reasons from research subjects, minimizing interference with their thoughts through audience surveys and in-depth interviews. For it, the findings from these research methods are then combined to achieve the research objectives. This chapter provides a descriptive analysis of the research results, which are based on the findings from the researchers' questionnaire survey, in-depth interviews, and a review of related journal articles. The analysis is divided into three sections. Wood, an examination of the current situation of the ZELF and the I, GZ, through expert interviews and data collection. Two, an investigation of the characteristics of new media art award-winning works in Guangzhou and Lyon through audience surveys. A comprehensive evaluation of the influence of new media art characteristics on their exhibition influence. Analysis of expert interview results. Through a detailed study of in-depth interviews and literature, this research looks at the main factors and ideas that art professionals consider when judging new media art works. The features of these works are viewed from three angles. Form and style. Technical interaction. Innovation in topics. Using a four-point average as the benchmark, both the dynamic imagery and interactive installation pieces from these six works received above-average ratings from the audience. This suggests that the audience generally agreed on the high performance level of the artworks in various aspects. The dynamic imagery works were rated higher in terms of stylistic form and also garnered better evaluations in terms of interactive experience and innovation in topics compared to the interactive installation works. In conclusion, both the IA, GZ, and TL, Leo, showcased high-quality works, with dynamic imagery pieces receiving higher scores from the audience in terms of stylistic form, interactive experience, and innovation in topics. The audiences appreciated the creativity, cultural relevance, and expressiveness of the works, and these factors contributed to their overall positive evaluations. Future research and artistic exploration could build upon these findings to further understand the preferences and expectations of audiences in the field of light art and interactive installations. Finally, we summarize nine creative characteristics of new media art. Light art, color art, formative artistic, spatial experience, environment interaction, audience interaction, symbolic expression, cultural reflection, experimental characteristics, conclusion of research results. E in new media art, the focus moves from understanding pictures and stories to directly engaging with signal data. This requires a change in thinking towards sensory experiences instead of symbolic meanings. Here in new media art, technology is more than just a tool. It shows trends and how we think. This makes people like fresh and interesting experiences in art. For today, art and technology are getting closer. As new media art grows, it changes how we see the mix of humanity and tech in art. It puts a spotlight on the connection between what we sense and the rules we follow. Conclusion and Recommendations Through our summary of the characteristics of new media art, we have outlined the following suggestions for the future direction of new media art creation. First, new media art in China is still growing. Its beauty is not just in what we see, but in how it uses tech in creative ways and shows what the digital age is about. Second, the influence of the IA, GZ, award on new media art shows in the shifting award categories and open submission policy. But, this could also make the divide bigger between popular and less known art forms. Third, to make the IA, GZ, award more well-known and global. We could work more with other global new media art awards, get more international judges and artists involved, and promote new tech and ideas like VR, AI, or blockchain. We explore the influence of light art festivals and offer several key takeaways. The light art festivals serve as platforms for introducing innovative art concepts, with themes that should be contemporary and forward-looking to tackle societal issues and probe into uncertain subjects. Two, the exhibition concept of these festivals reflects the essence of the digital age, 
but their influence in China is limited due to the audience's shallow understanding of artworks and the lack of digital culture and technological literacy. Three, to enhance exhibition influence. There is a need for deeper exploration of issues from the information age and support for exhibitions with theoretical narratives. Moreover, guiding the audience to understand the deeper meanings of artworks is crucial. To conclude, I just presented an overview of my research project. I extend my thanks to each of you for your attention and time. I want to express my heartfelt thanks to my advisors, Dr. Sakam and Dr. Wu, for their invaluable guidance. I also extend my gratitude to Shinawat University for their unwavering support, which greatly aided the completion of my research. Thank you for listening.
Dear ladies and gentlemen, my name is Liao Ying. I am also a lecturer in Zhejiang Normal University. Uh, I feel very honored to attend this meeting. My topic is the effect of creative short video art on people's subjective well-being. Then I will show my research findings. First, the current use of short video among users. This is the time users spend in short video. We can find that people spend many time in short video each time. This is the length of short video users prefer. From the questionnaire and the in-depth interview, I found that although the length of short video users prefer uh, users uh, watch varies, most people prefer to watch shorter videos. This is preference content. Younger people prefer videos that focus on entertainment and leisure, while mid-aged and elderly people prefer videos on, uh, that focus on skills in life and self-improvement. This is the use intensity and use frequency. The left picture is the use intensity. From the above data, it can be concluded that the respondents are accustomed to watch short, uh, watching short videos in their daily life, or they think that short video have become a part of their daily life. However, users do not rely on short videos very much, and they do not think that they are closely connected with short videos and cannot be separated from short video. The right picture is use frequency. In terms of the uh, frequency of watching short video, the majority of people watch short video almost every day. This is the result of social comparison and online social capture. 
Uh, social comparison and uh, uh, online social capture has been mentioned in the literature. So in my research, I specifically uh, me measure these two factors. And the result shows that the comparison psychology of short video users is not very strong. But when they compare, users tend to compare their personal abilities with those who are better than themselves. The social uh, relationship between users is shallow and loose. Users learn about people and things in other regions through short videos, but will not discuss private issues with others in short videos. The second part is the relationship between short video and the user's subjective well-being. Uh, to begin with, I use questionnaire to know the subjective well-being of the users. This is the overall situation of happiness. From the data, we can see clearly that, in general, these short video users are happy. Subjective well-being uh, includes three aspects. Their positive effect, negative effect, and life satisfaction. Uh, in my research, I found that participants experienced more positive emotions and less negative emotions. The participants are slightly satisfied with their life. In my research, I use interview to get more and deeper information about the influence of short video on users' subjective well-being. In general, some interviewees uh, think that short video can improve their subjective well-being, but some interviewees uh, have no obvious feelings about it. Subjective well-being uh, includes three aspects from interview. It can be found that short videos would influence users' positive effect and negative effect, which involve, involve all ages. In terms of the life, life satisfaction after watching short video, most of the interviewees uh, think their life satisfaction has no change or can be improved. Through in-depth interviews with people of different ages, it can be seen that a person's subjective well-being when watching short video is not fixed by the flux chase. So it arises my interest uh, on what factors will affect a user's subjective well-being when using uh, and watching short video. Finally, I found that there are 10 factors, including subjective and uh, object objective factors. There are personality trait, user requirements and the demand meeting, comparative psychology, uh, intelligent push uh, function, the time spending on short video, the length of short video, the content of short video, page design, uh, frequency of use, and the last is the user's professions. The, three, uh, the third part is the differences of the effects of short video use on subjective well-being of users of different ages. Uh, and these are my research results. To begin with, from the point of view um, of the travel, short video will bring to the users. Elder users are more likely to worry uh, about their own health problems. Uh, while younger users are worried about low self-control, use addiction, time wasting, and other problems in the use of short videos. In addition, compared with the younger users, the interaction in the short videos is more important to the elder generation. Furthermore, younger users are more likely to make upward social comparison thereby reducing their subjective well-being. Uh, while the comparative psychology is not obvious for the elder users when they're watching short videos. The last is uh, elder people are more dependent on short videos than younger people. And if they cannot watch short video for a long time, they will feel unhappy. And those are my research findings. Uh, this is the recommendation based on my research findings.
First of all, the guideline for making use of these research findings for public interest. The short video industry and the short video software operators can combine the research findings and the conclusions to improve and enhance the functions of short video in order to create a good viewing environment for users and enhance their subjective well-being. Secondly, uh, the guidelines for conducting future research in the related fields. The recommendations of the related field research conduction could be as follows. To begin with, in the research, manufacturers have been examined that they would influence people's happiness. And in the future, we could conduct cross analysis to obtain more data. In addition, we could investigate other factors such as eyesight, height, weight, and so on. Furthermore, the studies have uh, proved that there is a relationship uh, between the use of short video and the subjective well-being. We could explore further on whether the art form of short video itself or its content influence subjective well-being. So these are the recommendations based on my research uh, findings. Finally, I would like to thank my advisor, Professor Kuhn, uh, Kuhn and the lectures in School of of coordinators. Uh, thank you for your listening. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is T.P. Prigudong from Songkla. I graduated with a bachelor's degree from the Faculty of Fine and Applied Arts, Chulalongkorn University. Graduated with a master degree from the Faculty of Education, Chulalongkorn University. Currently working as a lecturer in the Department of Visual Arts, Faculty of Fine and Applied Arts, Tuxin University, and studying for a doctorate degree at the Faculty of Fine and Applied Arts, Chulalongkorn University. Songkla has a long history as a significant city with a close affinity for the water. Songkla has long been a wealthy port city due to its large lake that's open to the Thai Gulf, due to the extensive cultural interchange that results from the trade. Songkla is known as the city of multiculturalism and is home to a stunning fusion of Thai, Chinese and Muslim cultures. As I just mentioned earlier that Songkla is a big port city of the southern region. So apart from the culture that was pouring into Songkla, the trade also attracted various products and merchandise to the city. One of the local merchandise of Songkla was the marble pattern terracotta tie. They are made from the clay that contain various minerals. And those minerals give the beautiful marble effect to the ties. At these times are very durable they used to be exported widely to other cities in the region including Penang in Malaysia. Unfortunately, as the time passed by, the making of Songkla terracotta tie is gradually fading away. To create it, them as an artwork that represents the variety of culture in Songkla, the tie was fired at 700 degrees Celsius to preserve the orange color of the clay. I used blue plant that was inspired by the cobalt paint used in Chinese porcelain. The pigments are powders. They are ceramic stain and oxides and should be mixed with the suitable medium in approximately proportions of two parts color to one part medium. This can be diluted further with water for brush application, immersion or flooding. After good drying, the products should be glazed with the transparent glass and fire it in the clean at temperatures 950 to 1160 degrees Celsius. When the painted on the bright orange tie, the blue which is the opposite color stand out beautifully and make the tines more eye-catching. 
The pattern painted on the tie is inspired by the strong yet gentle movement of the south rooster and red whiskered booboo. I use the pate painting techniques with the unique painting style of southern cities originate from the knowledge sharing between Thai, Chinese and Muslim. The influence of multicultural beauty in Songkla represents the identity of Songkla. Songkla is an important port city in the south with unique local materials that have been passed down over many generations. A clay tie with a marble design is one of these historical objects, representing the splendor and depth of the civilization. It combines three distinct ethnic groups, distinctive multiculturalism, the Muslim, Songkla's native Thai, and Chinese immigration. Conversing the material and culture's essence will help the audience understand the value and significance of Songkla tiles. everyone it's very honored for me to uh, have this meeting my name is Liang Wenshan today I would like to give a presentation to on the topic of creative technology in Chinese film music communication in the new century and my uh, Thailand's advisor is Dr. Sakun Pusman. And in China, my advisor is Dr. Yang Heping. And I am a doctor of philosophy in art performance and communication in Sinawa University. Fuse music in China has been developing for over 100 years. Each period of film music has its own increased characteristics and representative works, forming a literary history. Since the new century, with advancement in technology and culture, Chinese film music has taken on new developments and form more diverse style. Under the perspective of historical, economical, social, cultural and technological developments. The study examined the development and dissemination of Chinese film music in the new century. The research objects first to study the characteristics of traditional and modern modes of transmission of Chinese film music. Second, to analyze the main change in the dissemination of Chinese film music from traditional to modern times since the new century. Thus, to anticipate future trends in how Chinese film music will be dissemination. And the research method. This paper mainly used the mixed research method of quantitative research and quality research include, include literature research method, historical research, and music analysis, interview medicine, method, and questionary thorough method. And the result. One, the dissemination of Chinese film music in the new century is informed by many match factors like the creative subjects, history, style, function, media use, and audience. Future development needs to consider how it speed and created, requiring continued study of subjects, contents, media, and audience. The result of analyzing questionnaire data from five, 400 people. Factor like the creative subject, history, style, function, median, and audience positive impact how Chinese film music is created and spread. The creativity and pattern of new central Chinese film music dissemination can be summarized based on interviews, surveys, and literature review. 
details are provided on the simple garden age, education level, and variable related to the creative subjects, history, style, function, medium, audience, creative direction, and dissemination effect. Characters are Percent of new central Chinese film music dissemination is ambiguity of communication subject, richness of communication content, the words of communication media, broad a communication audience, real time communication effect. Past and chance in the development of new central Chinese film is Chinese film music. Dissemination first is completed, including joint marking between recording and production industries and promotion on tailor shows. Second is a parade of style like folk, popular, popular, digital, and international music. Third is are uh, turns in dissemination in visits, including international distribution and field promotion. Diology and zeitgeist of New Age Central Chinese film music. The diology, diology includes an uh, attending to mainstream ideology, but also di, di, the wiser, perfidy ideology. The I guess the includes the index music and mainstream, observing classical style and using them in Chinese film music, and using popular music to increase entertainment and commerce volume. And sub summary points first. New central Chinese film music shows the characteristic line and beginality of subject, readiness of content and medium, board audience and real time effects. Second is dissemination path and complex and style are uh, device with a tend towards effects and stirs is it goes on and try to reflect the main style and diversity. Three aspects of research. First, it examined the, the development and dissemination of uh, New Age Chinese film music. Second, it used research method for music history, the docu documentation and communication studies to collect the nice literary. Third, it employed a mixed method approach based on existing literary and the research idea. And recommendation for contrib research contribution. First, it has collected and integrated a large amount of literature to gain knowledge about the topic. Second, it has studied the dissemination dialysis through history, analysis, surveys, interviews, and data analysis to understand the topic cessation and in depth. Third, is discuss the united ideology and zeitgeist in line with social ideology and development. And five years of research significance. It demonstrated the insistence of Chinese film music has its educational well for social and cultural development, reflects the well of film music for social interaction, promotes development of mu music com communication and prove guide guidance for creators. And three research limitation and how to adjust them. First, the school focus on new central Chinese film music destination, not the global test. Future research could place on it in a Broaden context. Second, Concord 19 prevent the fewer to see the situation across China. Future research could include fewer. 
First, the research relied on collected literature, median, and surveys due to time constraints. Future research could include more in depth study. And finally, is the suggest for error for future research. First, it brought the simulation of film music to supply main research. Second, provide theory guide guidance for certain practice. Third, give suggestion for future quantitative question and dissemination. First, promote methods for teaching um, contemplation, film music dissemination. Finally, I want to thank my uh, advisors, Dr. Kuhn and Dr. Yang Heping, and thanks them to guide me and help me. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you all of you to listening my presentation. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Wachali Wan Hilan Parawat. I'm instructor at Panakon Si Ayutthaya Rajapat University. The creation of contemporary terracotta sculptures, the last generation of potters, the near lost wisdom from Krong Sabua village. He completed works of contemporary terracotta sculpture, creative piece titled Joy in This Path. Creative piece titled The Power of Living. The creative this title, 100 Happiness, Zero Sadness. Characteristic soft work is visual art and contemporary art. Also, he total with brain and high. Of the creative pieces, approximately 30, 30, and 60 centimeters. This creation of these contemporary terracotta sculpture stems for the impression of the will to survive of a family of potters who are currently the only one left in this profession. The creator with to convey the potter's inner feeling which can be regarded as the wisdom that is on the verge of disappearing for this Krong Sabua village through the creation of transmission of visual arts media as well as to express them in the form of terracotta sculptures. This was accomplished by considering the aesthetic of shape, the placement of visual elements in art, and the incorporation of knowledge of pottery production techniques, which is the traditional pottery wisdom of Krong Sabua people in order to create contemporaneity with contemporary arts. The project's creators sincerely hope that this modern terracotta sculpture they have created will serve as an instrument to showcase the artistry and beauty of Krong Sabua people's own pottery craft, which have been preserved for future generations to learn more about. It can also be used as a sort to learn more about the Krong Sabua people's pottery making process, 
which was a prosperous profession in the past, as if it were a wisdom museum that is still valuable, vibrant, and alive along with the land of Panacon Siyotia people forever. Number one, to research and collect knowledge as well as to preserve the traditional concept of terracotta pottery production process for future generations to use as a study guide. Number two, to convey the traditional wisdom of concept of pottery to works of visual art and to present and create contemporary Tulakota sculptures with personal inspiration. The traditional technique for making Kong Sabua pottery is to form K pots with the main row materials with arson brick, local soil, also known as Gel gap soil, including the techniques for decorating the exterior surface of terracotta pots with Kui Bu soil, and polishing the surface of the terracotta pots to aratus finish using river pebbles. The creator has created a contemporary mixed by baking bucket local soil, dan pian local soil, and sand to experiment. Now today, the last generation of potter in this Kong Sabua community is still making terracotta pottery in Kong Sabua and has made some change to product design is respond to the era of high living cost in society. However, primitive technology is considered a traditional pottery process of Kong Sabua community, which is now carried on by Kong Sabua community's last remaining generation of potters. That is also an effort to devote both physical and mental strength to passing on the knowledge of how to make this clay pot. So this it can continue to breed today.